d'Azur ist schon da. D'Azur, Cadier d'Azur. Das zweite. Das hier? Ja. <lacht> Straße. Äh. äh. Chemie, Chemie dem. <lacht> to the racetrack it's like four in the afternoon and um, yeah we're gonna do a track walk I hope it's not it's gonna stop raining soon so it's gonna be a tri track walk and yeah just go through some stuff with my engineer um, gonna see my car livery for the first time I think it looks pretty cool because the team is like eh, it's so nice it's so nice but I didn't see it yet so quite nervous and yeah then we'll see and tomorrow morning is the first few practice I'm gonna push for it and have fun Is this a... So I turn and I'm right, I shift down. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you have to obviously find exactly more or less uh, you, where you will be breaking, but uh, obviously you will turn in once you touch the blue, you know, going in quite tight, carrying a really good speed, so you will just touch it. The brake shape will be like something really little. We can try both, eh? Four good. gear and then two second or... Second, second, last one. Oh, yeah, four, last one, yeah. Second, yeah. I don't know, but four and then shifting down two gears to the last corner or then uh, directly. Yeah, but you know what I think? If you're then you break, shift down once, and then like once you instead, yeah, shift down again, I mean, and then you shift down again for the next one. Four gear will start to be under steering from mid to exit. Once you are arriving and getting yeah, and that you apex, down. you shift down to third yeah. gear and then to second uh, yeah. for the last corner. You, we, you, we can try like that, yeah. We are done with the track walk now. Um, it's been rainy, so the first bit was rainy, and now it yeah stopped, but still wet. Um, we are the first tomorrow in the first pre practice, so hopefully it's going to be dry. But the track looks really cool. Um, it's super wide, super long, so we got a straight on the back, which is like 1.5 kilometers long, so you can actually drink a coffee in between. <laughs> but yeah, it looks cool. Um, first time here, so. First time actually on a race weekend in a car in Boston, so it's gonna be pretty cool and looking forward to it. Yeah, it's race day, but um, I don't know. <laughs> it's difficult to say because nothing is working like we want to, or like how we expected actually. So we're struggling a lot with everything kind of for the team. So yeah, it's gonna be difficult, really difficult races. But yeah, stay positive, you know. Yeah, so the first race day, let's say, is done. Um, we had two races today and, yeah, you know, with the big gap I had yesterday already in quali, we were trying something for race one, which was actually getting better, you know. Um, it was the right way, let's say. We had, like, I think 2.2 seconds just um, from the quickest lap, but still it was not, <laughs> not good at all. But, yeah, then we tried something else for race three and it was completely wrong again, so... Um, yeah, mentally it's like the hardest weekend I've ever had. Um, if people say my cow is the hardest, I say this is the hardest. Because, yeah, I, my head is or my brain is just going crazy, you know. I know I'm not that slow and I know I can drive, and especially in this championship. But something is not working like how we want it. Um, but yeah, I think you at some point just need to switch your mind off. And this is the perfect atmosphere, you know. I'm at the, be at the sea, at the beach. La Plage <laughs> and the sun is just going down and the sunset is so beautiful um, yeah but I wish it would have been a day with two podiums or wins and a nice sunset and not like having problems with the car and setup or whatever the whole time
the pit lane goes green, uh, we can do one out, one drive through through pit lane, and another one, so we can do a practice start. Uh, for me, it's absolutely okay if you don't preload, but just find the binding point and let the clutch come. If that gives you a bit more confidence for the start, let's say, because we didn't really try so much preloading this clutch. So I suggest you do that. Just try it, and you know that's the smallest chance for, let's say, a mistake. Uh, so out, one drive through the big lane, and then to the information that we Worthy. Your sector one is good, so keep pushing, please. You have better than the race one. The race pace was clearly, clearly much better, huh? Honestly, yeah, you were doing a good job. Eh? The second part of the race, it, it is true that it was clearly. We need to understand what happened at the beginning, but then, from mid race uh, onwards, uh, you know, uh, you were the, the the race pace was like a bit worse than, than the Prima guys, but you were always uh, going better than the RP cars, uh, the the cars in front of you. The tires are look too bad. You were clearly driving better. Look the tires. The tires. It's fine. Look that one, a bit of raining. Compared to the one of yesterday after race two or even after race one. Positive race, positive race. The weekend is over, um, I'm heading back home now. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. Um, next time, next vlog, let's say, I'm gonna show you the steering wheel, because it's actually kind of diff different compared to the Lara one. Um, and yeah, so a longer race video. This is gonna be it and um, yeah hope you like it give it a thumbs up comment if you have something for me to tell and yeah bye bye